Hey everybody, welcome to Chicago Reacts. I'm Jerry with my co-reviewer Kit. Kit, and today we are going to review or react to Dwarf Fortress review, Strike the Earth, Praise FR. I don't know. Some, some that is that is Viking ruin text. Okay, so and do you read Viking ruin text? Not the chance. Okay, well, then I don't know why they expect us to be able to read it without a translator. Uh, but you can see on the screen what it is, and uh, this video was by Seth Zintach. 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 I'm imagining he's got to be Nordic or Viking or something. I, I or probably a denizen of the war. Okay, I, I'll I'll take your word for it. There so, you go. We're going we're gonna to react to this video, Dwarf Fortress Review. Uh, strap Strike yourselves deep. in and uh, enjoy us with the, on the ride. Enjoy us with the ride. <laughs> enjoy the ride. <laughs> it's late. Hey, hey, people. Seth here. Today, I'll be covering a long-running cult classic that's still updated and developed to this ooh, very ooh, day. This looks a like game which chronicles the lives and accomplishments of stumpy alcoholics style. as they struggle to avoid sobriety. A game where the most ludicrous <laughs> events take place daily, where civilizations rise and fall just because someone left a Necronomicon in the public library. A game where the UI is so useless and convoluted that you'd honestly have an easier time playing Microsoft Excel. <laughs> 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 Which this game kind of looks like. I'm a performance artist. Deep, dark fantasy. <laughs> All right. Ah! Come on, nope. Oh, boy. <laughs> Who's that guy? <laughs> it's a long story, is my friend. I'm supposed to recognize? Or? It, it is. It is. It is a meme. About Dwarf Fortress. Dwarf Fortress is less of a game and more of a off complex not fantasy world simulation <laughs> made by one guy over 20 years and probably for the rest of his natural and unnatural lifespan as we plan to... He's got a, uh, uh, what was the mad monk uh, from Russia? Oh, I mean Rasputin. He's got a Rasputin kind of look to him. Hey, listen, Rasputin was a saint. Leave him alone, okay? Leave Rasputin Round alone. Point. Tarn Adams a synthetic body so he can focus on what truly matters. <sighs> Dwarf Fortress really is one of the greatest autism projects to ever blossom. Fun fact, it's also <laughs> yeah, the hardest thing to run on PC. Even an i7 that. processor <laughs> chokes and dies the moment you forget to sterilize your cat. Yeah. If not for the ever-increasing technological demands of Dwarf Fortress, AMD and Intel would be bankrupt right now. To even begin playing Dwarf Fortress, you'll need some prescription medication. But more importantly, you'll need a world to play in. So, we create one, we set some parameters, and the game will then calculate 250 fucking years of history for this randomly generated world. And, depending on your computer, this may also take 250 years. Once the world is made, it's all yours. And like an abusive lover, she will caress and beat you senseless. And each time, you'll come back for more. There's two main game modes you can play in Dwarf Fortress. You can either choose to embark on distant lands and lead a fortress to ruin or die horrifically in the pursuit of adventure. To begin, let's cover fortress mode first. All you have to do is pick a nice place to embark and that's about it. Despite common myths, Dwarf Fortress isn't complicated. Just follow up the <laughs> Successfully a castrated my first no enemy. Time. You should also download and use the lazy noob pack because the game is almost unplayable without it. Some may disagree with this statement, but to put it simply, they're fucking wrong. These same people will disagree with my choice of tiles set or the fact that I use a tile set at all. To answer these concerns and make this video that much easier to watch, I will be using all of the tile sets at random. In fortress mode, you start out with seven dwarves, given the difficult task of establishing civilization. The Snow longer White you in survive game? and flourish, the more I don't migrants know. will arrive <laughs> from neighboring <laughs> cities, attracted by the promise of I your mean, there growing are seven fortress. Dwarves, so. From there on, any number mm -hmm. of things can happen. Disaster, thought. tragedy, invasions, and tantrum spirals which threaten to end your fortress at any given moment. They'd but whether you live or die, just terrible. remember, <laughs> losing <laughs> is fun. It's impossible to cover everything. So <laughs> let do. me tell you some stories. The first fortress I ever founded was absolutely terrible. We had no metal, so instead we fought with sticks and traded pottery for any possible scrap of metal. We also lived in constant fear. There was a like were-zebra on the loose. Sir, he kept eating my chickens and trampling my dwarves. As if I couldn't escape the furry menace in real life, it torments me in my video 
video games as well. It turned out that the Where Zebra was a human musician who plays at my tavern, so I let him stay and snap a few chicken necks every month. The place was actually quite successful. Five years on and no major invasions. What the hell? I asked my friend who knows Dwarf Fortress to take a look. He came back shocked and told me, you're not at war with the goblins. How? I had no idea. My fortress was a place of culture and learning, of drunken <laughs> revelry and international <laughs> diplomatic kind of renown. Oh, that Life graphic. <laughs> proceeded as normal. And then, one day, one of my guests Want of honor, elf a legendary human learning? wrestler, had too much to drink and went into a murderous rage. He proceeded to grab a goblin dancer and pulled off her lower jaw. As she was screaming, he began thrashing her with her own jawbone. The situation quickly deteriorated as she retaliated back. My other dwarves, family upon seeing that a man was under attack and, fearing for his life, used appropriate self-defense to remove the assailant's ability to chew food, launched into a furious brawl. It was a bloodbath that marked the beginning of a race riots. Every goblin in my fortress was slaughtered. For our acts of racial cleansing, the goblins had declared war on us. One week <laughs> This is some pretty heavy shit. Yeah, Racial wow. cleansing in an elf and dwarf fortress? I... I guess things really went out of hand with that uh, uh, goblin dancer, I, I, I think. Eesh. The one whose jaw he ripped off and beat her with? Yeah, yeah I mean, I, if I, I'm following the narrative. Well, the narrative is that the dwarf started it. So, yeah, goblins, uh, goblins have got to push back. Never piss off a dwarf couldn't win. And all because some retard couldn't handle his mushroom wine. Several months later, my fortress was swallowed by the Green Horde. Those who weren't murdered <laughs> the green walled whore? themselves off. Oh, the Green Horde. Yeah, the Green Horde. Come on, discover. buddy. The rest starved to death. <laughs> green Horn hit Green Horde, Green Horde. Sorry, my hearing just got... <laughs> fortress. A fun, light-hearted experience for Valhalla. Although that elf that they... they there could have been some whores among their ranks. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Family. My second fortress fared slightly better until I dug too deep. My third? Well, we all know how this ends already, right? One of my dwarves got possessed, so I walled off his workshop, forgot about it, and accidentally opened up his crypt. In the middle Ooh. of town, the nauseous fumes from his hot, decomposing body erupted across several levels, driving everyone insane from the sight and stench of his swollen cadaver. I In the chaos, a mother dropped her toddler into a shallow pool of water. The child drowned, causing the mother to go into a tantrum and attack an It's just like one disaster after another for these characters. The Drowning babies, people dropping dead from the smell of dead bodies. Well, I mean, yeah, well, that's his fault. Green whores getting their jaws ripped off, elven <laughs> dwarf hordes. I do. Hold on. Let's find out what it's else like happens. A, it's like a. Uh, uh, all right, well, go on. An experienced axe dwarf who it's like a Fellini movie <laughs> decapitated her. The dead bodies caused more tantrums, which would result in even more dead bodies, which eventually reduced my population to a single person, a single axe dwarf, who was now considered legendary, having gained enough experience from beheading everybody else. My fourth attempt was actually fine. The fortress still stands as a grisly reminder of why we have health and safety. I read online somewhere that you could train your dwarves extremely quickly by constructing a danger Room. Oh. The idea is simple. We put a dwarf in a room filled with traps, we activate them, and our brave warriors will gracefully dodge and block every single one of them. But this process wasn't fast enough, so we replaced the traps with coins. We hit the lever and 500 freshly minted coins would harmlessly ricochet at high speed across the room, turning our dwarves and- <laughs> And when that didn't work, they filled the traps with green whores. <laughs> 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 Instantly. However, it didn't work. It didn't work. So coming suddenly ricocheted at high speed and destroyed my dwarf's windpipe. Even the best surgeons oh. available couldn't operate quick enough to restore oxygen supply. The cause of death was That's ruled rough. to be asphyxiation by legal tender. Not to be dissuaded, I tried to optimize coin training. I made my men wear five layers of cotton around their necks. The results? Several women were now widows, and about a dozen men were now buried with out of throat. It turns out coins are very dangerous. Attempt number five, my current and final fortress. One day, I receive a notification. One of my master engravers had just sculpted a masterpiece on the dining room wall. I find the engraving and read the description. He just sculpted a... Okay, hold on. Argon, Jubilation of Murris. Engraved on the wall is an exceptionally designed image of... Alt, I'm gonna screw that name. Aflumini. Yeah, uh, Colossat the Dwarf uh, and Os Osmodai. K 
killed her and the dwarf of okay there we go that name is striking down his that dude the artwork uh, relates to the killing of that guy by that dude in that city in the mid autumn of 261 we okay don't speak there we go. dwarf drawing of himself stabbing we'll another dwarf it. and soon after he actually stabbed him what an absolute lad this was wow. also about the time i decided to embark on a haunted biome and my personal advice don't do that nothing dies on a haunted biome the moment you kill an animal it gets back up the moment you chop off a limb it gets possessed and tries to choke you did you know this applies to shellfish and crustaceans as well i didn't but i've just <laughs> lost a good fisherman to an undead pile of lobster shells. If all of this what? sounds like too much to handle, then you can play Adventure Mode instead. Adventure Mode lets you design and control a single character that can interact with, influence, and shape the world. Once again, it's impossible to cover everything. So, instead, I'll share some of my character's exploits. The very first character I ever made was a human, locally renowned for his Julia acts Sash. of heroism. I didn't know the controls <laughs> and didn't really care. I spent my entire time accusing children of being vampires and throwing Nosferatu silver face. at them until they died. No one dared intervene in my righteous crusade against darkness. Incidentally, one of the people I accused was actually a vampire, who proceeded to kill me instantly to get rid of the evidence. My second character was a cobalt who had successfully integrated with modern civilization. To demonstrate how integrated I was, I immediately assassinated the king. To my surprise, the guards didn't even care. My reward for committing regicide was monarchy. I had become the new ruler of this kingdom. I spent the rest of my career spreading rumors that the previous king was murdered by myself. Everyone refused to believe it and said like I, it. the king, was now full of royalty. shit. My third character managed to find a really nice book, a book of necromancy, which I generously donated to one of my fortress libraries. After retiring from adventuring and checking up on the place, I was pleasantly surprised to find the place overrun with undead. Then, I got bored and installed some lore-friendly mods. Currently, I'm playing as Vegeta, a local <laughs> Saiyan prince who accidentally used instant transmission to teleport to hell. There, I learned that the wrestling system in Dwarf Fortress is extremely elaborate, allowing Vegeta to choke hold demons while he plucks out their necks. After returning from the underworld, Vegeta spent several hours vomiting on townspeople and indirectly killed a child by doing push-ups. Later that day, an <laughs> elvish surf refused to yield to the this same prince. Well he out. rejected his generous demands for both of his shoes in exchange for his life. Now, I'm not very good at Dragon Ball Z lore, but I don't remember Vegeta being able to make Destructo Discs, but who gives a shit? In this mod, he can. So, I decapitated a bunch of elves with energy discs and turned into a giant ape. Then I got drunk and crawled on the floor, stealing people's genitals. In case you haven't figured this out already, Dwarf Fortress is an amazing game. And not only that, it's unique. There's wow. nothing quite like it. It's gotta be unique if he was stealing other characters' genitals. Well, you know, I mean, let's, 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 let's be very clear here. This, this, this game... Looks a lot of fun. It's just I don't know if I have the time to play it though. Looks like a lot of stuff you got to do. It's fun if you if you want to steal a. No, nah, I don't want. I don't. I, I, I don't want to do that. No. It's no. a sandbox, and you make your own fun. It's a and sandbox. And if you get bored of sand, there's a billion mods out there which make the game that much more <laughs> intricate and entertaining. Sure, it's hard to get into, but then again. So are nursing homes. I <laughs> think it's subjective, which is why everyone will see something. All right, they okay. want me over there. Gay. As always, more content to come. So and stay what is tuned. This video the comes Ugandan war criminals? I don't that? know. He probably plays this game. Schmuck, I, who knows? Taken our money since November. Truth be told, I took a corporate position in December. Then I realized I can do a hundred times more by myself. So now I'm going all in. Seth is going full time. A warm fan. Thanks to the many members of the Merchants Guild who have been generously funded. <laughs> this and gaming culture is something else. <laughs> You're all truly wonderful. I missed the chance to save us before, so Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and have a Happy New Year. Right. Well, uh, I think we learned something here. That if you're in the realm of Dwarf Fortress, anything that can happen will happen, and always keep your head on the swivel. And if anything else... Always remember that when you have uh, adult dancers, such as goblin uh, women dancing, goblin be, green goblin horse, be, uh, be, be sure to have security. You know, I mean, come on, you can't you can't have your patrons acting crazy like that. You got to have security. 
24/7. Let's 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 try and build a society here, folks. It's not too hard. Indoor plumbing and Taco Bell. What's so wrong about that? We can't have people getting out of pocket. And for God's sake, protect your genitals. Yes, because you can't have people. You know, you know. It's, yeah, look, there's there's some things who, you just can't do. Who would have imagined that would have been like a stake in a video game? Uh, I don't know. Isn't this one? Yeah, strike the earth. There we go. All right. Hope you enjoyed our review of this wonderful game and more content from Cesar Zinch soon uh, will will soon be happening soon, I guess. But he, uh, he says it's wonderful. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> if uh, there's a fun video you want us to react to, you know what you gotta do. Just type in the comment section below, and either we or some other wonderful team here at Chicago Reacts will react to it. Take good care and bye bye. Peace. <laughs>